Nestled among the flowers in front of the Ukrainian embassy are posters with QR codes. Give it a scan and you'll get the paperwork to apply to fight alongside the Ukrainian army. Thousands of volunteers have done it, including these two veterans. When you start killing women and children, that does not sit right with me. Dennis Diaz served in Iraq and his application has been approved. He's already packed his bulletproof vest, knives and a helmet and will fly out at the end of the month. Are you scared you might die there or get hurt? That comes with the job. Um, I know even if I were to die in combat, that's a small price to pay for the overall picture. The White House fears Russia's deadly invasion is about to enter a brutal new phase. They're right now accusing the United States and the Ukrainians of potentially using chemical or biological weapons, which is a tell. It's a tell that they themselves may be preparing to do so and then trying to pin the blame on someone else. An escalation would be met with a severe price, warns the White House. But for now, the U.S. and NATO posture is not changing. Troops will not enter Ukraine as the alliance sticks with weapons, aid and sanctions instead. We expect deep recession in Russia. At this crucial moment, the U.S. says Putin cannot be bailed out by his allies, a message to be delivered in person to the Chinese during high-level talks Monday. We will not stand by and allow any country uh, to compensate Russia for its losses from the economic sanctions. Russia has reportedly asked China for military and financial support. If Beijing says yes, there would be new, clear lines drawn in this global battle. The U.S. fears Moscow will be thrown a lifeline and will directly tell China there will be consequences if that happens. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.